Hi, my name is Oscar Wicken, and thanks for joining me in this short video update for my physics-based VR project made in Unreal Engine 5.1. I wanted to make this video both to demonstrate my progress and also to verbally thank everyone who has commented and supported this project. It's been a massive source of inspiration and I'm very grateful. I know some have been asking about the future of the project, whether I'll make a tutorial or publish it on the marketplace. The short answer is that I'm not really close enough to finishing the project to know for sure, but it'll most likely be released to the asset store at a future date. Okay, so now let me walk you through what's new. As you may have seen from the last snapshot I did, I've completely rebuilt the Unreal Engine 4 project from the ground up inside of Unreal Engine 5.1 in order to utilize Lumen and Nanite. I put together a small scene to demonstrate some of the features I've been working on. So let's go through that now. The firing range demonstrates a basic input-output system that allows input from the player, in this case their index finger squeezing, to fire outputs in the held item, in this case shooting, creating a force that impacts the player as well. I'm hoping to expand on this system more in the future. The goal is a very understandable system that allows this sort of logic to be easily built by players. It's currently based off of the Hammer World Editor system that Source Games use, but any suggestions are welcome to improve this. I built the physics range to show interactions with various types of physics objects and constraints, in order to demonstrate the nature of the fully physics-based body. Every part of your body is simulated, from your feet, to your elbows, to even your head. I believe this is vital for immersion, especially when interacting with items like this rifle. You have to position your arms in a way that accommodates for the butt of the weapon, which, at least from my experience, subconsciously influenced me to accept the object as existing in real space. The main difference this has from the physics system seen in games like Blade and Sorcery, or even Bone Lab, is that the body simulates with itself. Your arms will not clip through the side of your torso, nor can your legs fold up into your waist. Everything is collasive, which also lends to a feeling of realism. Up these stairs, we have the room full of boxes, and as a vital part of the demonstration, I spent five minutes playing with virtual building blocks. After that, I greeted my friend the mannequin to demonstrate some rough social interaction that could work for a future multiplayer system. The locomotion system is rudimentary and based off the pawn and not the character class. Currently, movement is not physics based, although this might change. The UE4 project did use a physics ball for locomotion, similar to how Boneworks and Bone Lab functioned. While this was good in some areas, namely that physical movement complements physical interaction, while non-physical movement can cause jank, it was also difficult to fine-tune, and just kind of felt unnatural. I'm still undecided, so I'd love some input from you all. That's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thank you all again for your support, and I'll see you soon.